Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Terrafugia chooses partners to bring flying car to market. President Trump welcomes Southwest crew and passengers to the Oval Office. And drones rescued at least 65 people in 2017. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's May 4th and this is Airborne Unlimited. Terrafugia has announced a partnership with China Euro Vehicle Technology AB to collaborate on a variety of developments to bring their first flying car to market. Geely Holdings Group acquired Terrafugia in fall 2017. SEFT is supporting Terrafugia's first vehicle, the Transition, with the development of a clutch box, advanced CAE analysis, and high-tech safety systems. SEFT was established by Geely Holding in 2013 as an engineering and development center for future C-segment cars addressing the needs of both Volvo Cars and Geely Auto Group. Today, SEFT is Geely's leading innovation and development center in Sweden. At SEFT, we have some of the best skilled resources in mobility engineering disciplines. We have until now mainly been focusing on developing amazing new cars. With this new collaboration, we see a huge advantage and opportunity taking our experience into new fields of mobility transportation. Terrafugia is a very exciting project for SEFT, and we feel proud to be given the opportunity to support this collaboration, says Mats Fegar, CEO of SEFT in Sweden. After the break, USPS celebrates 100th anniversary of U.S. airmail service. The dream is real, a truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit Plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news by at aero newsnet With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The U.S. Postal Service is celebrating the 100th anniversary of the beginning of regular airmail service with a forever stamp. This stamp celebrates the courage of the pioneering airmail carriers and the foresight of those who fostered the new service and made it a success. The first day of issue ceremony for the blue United States Airmail Forever Stamp took place at the Smithsonian National Postal Museum. Alsim has sold an ALX simulator to Select Aviation College, a Canadian flight school located in Quebec. Select Aviation chose an ALX to fulfill their need for a multi-crew cooperation capable device that simulates a turbine environment for their integrated flight training programs. Their ALX will include multi-engine piston and light turboprop models. The NBAA Maintenance Committee has awarded the 2018 Maintenance Technical Reward and Career Scholarships at the Association's annual Maintenance Conference this week in Albuquerque, New Mexico. With the Maintenance TRACS awards in hand, these awards recipients will be able to attend model-specific courses at training centers offering aircraft, engine, and avionics instructions. The FAA has issued a special airworthiness information bulletin to inform owners and operators of Augusta SPA model A119, AW119 Mark II, A109E, A109S, and AW109SB helicopters of an airworthiness concern for those helicopters that have a left or right main transmission fitting plate part number 109-0330-17 installed. An operator reported several cases of cracks in the fitting and loose fasteners on their fleet of AW-119 Mark II helicopters. Well, that's it for today's Sherpa Around the Patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. 
President Donald Trump welcomed five Southwest Airlines cockpit and cabin crew members, as well as three passengers who are aboard Flight 1380, to the Oval Office Tuesday, heaping praise on the pilots, flight attendants, and those who helped prevent a passenger from being pulled from the plane as it decompressed and attempted to save her life. Captain Tammy Jo Schultz, First Officer Darren Elliser, and three flight attendants were praised by Trump for their bravery and compassion during the incident. They say you are calm and strong and cool during the harrowing flight, Trump said, so thank you very much. The passenger who was nearly pulled from the plane during the decompression was Jennifer Riordan of Albuquerque. Three passengers who tried, sadly unsuccessfully, to revive her following the incident were also invited to the meeting. Firefighter Andrew Needham and fellow Texan Tim McGinty, a real estate agent, were the passengers who prevented Riordan from being pulled completely out of the plane. While retired nurse Peggy Phillips helped administer CPR until the plane landed in Philadelphia. While many of the passengers have lauded the flight crew for their actions following the uncontained engine failure, some have begun legal action against the airline. Southwest declined to comment on pending litigation. After these messages, drones rescued at least 65 people in 2017. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. At least 65 people have been rescued by drones in the last year, according to a new report issued Monday by DJI. The report gathers accounts from news outlets and public safety agencies around the world and includes 27 separate incidents on five continents. The report highlights how improved drone technology, rapid adoption by first responders, and smart aviation regulations have combined to increase the pace of drone use in critical public safety missions. DJI has now counted at least 124 people around the world rescued by drones. The new report found drones have dropped buoys to struggling swimmers in Australia and Brazil, spotted unconscious victims in sub-freezing weather in England and America, and found stranded people in fields, rivers, and mountains. Drones allow rescuers a way to find missing people, deliver supplies like food and life vests, and cut search and response times from hours to minutes, said Brendan Schulman, DJI Vice President for Policy and Legal Affairs. In one case, police in Lincolnshire, England, responded to a car crash on a dark rural road on a cold night, but were unable to find the driver. A drone with a thermal imaging camera spotted the driver in a ditch away from the crash scene and captured the dramatic moments when it guided officers to find him. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Have a great weekend and see you Monday.